In this video, I will use Winlogy Lab, Winlogy Lab Digital Simulator to demonstrate and explain the operation of a 4 to 1 multiplexer, 1 to 4 demultiplexer circuit. Okay, start the simulation. In this circuit, you will see that there is a multiplexor, multiplexer here and a demultiplexer here. We have two address lines. These two address lines will, by the combination, the bit pattern on the address line, determine the selection of one of the four data input signals. The address lines are connected to the multiplexer and are also connected to the demultiplexer. So when you are selecting the multiplexer, you are also selecting the demultiplexer. Okay, let's see how this works. If we select data zero by having zero, zero on the address line, data on data zero line Sorry, that should have been zero, zero. Data on the data zero line will be present at the output, okay? If we try the other three data lines, you will see that the data will not exit at the demultiplexer, okay? Now, if we want to select data on data one, we would have to have the address line, this would have to be set to a one. Okay, so now we are selecting data one. Okay, so now information at data one will be present at the output. If you look at the data output, um, the, the data one output over here, you will see that as the data one input is changing, that is changing. But if we try to change, if we change the data on the other input, nothing would happen. At the output, nothing will happen when data two is energized, nothing will happen when data three is energized. Now, if we want data two to be present at the output, we would have to input the address line uh, binary two will be one zero. Now, you should see that data two is active. Okay. Um, if you try data one, nothing happens, data zero, nothing happens, data three, nothing happens. Finally, to get data tree to um, data tree to exit, we would now have to select have the two address lines that are one. Now data tree now can be present at the output. Data two would not be present. Okay. All right, so to, to, to recap, we have two address lines, right? Giving us four binary combinations. Zero, zero would select data zero. Zero, one would, is, would select data one. And one, zero would select data two and one one would select data three. Okay, we have four inputs, data inputs. Data zero is one input, one input, two input, three input, four inputs, okay? Right, and just to remind you again that the, the address lines are connected to both the multiplexor, multiplexer and the demultiplexer. Now, the multiplexer takes several inputs several inputs and give out one input one output sorry and the demultiplexer takes one input which in this case the output from the multiplexer and gives out four separate outputs now the, the method of transmitting the data faithfully from one data to the next to the output is is done by a process called um time multiplexing so 
for a particular time, a short period of time, data one would be active at the output here and would be active at the output of the multiplexer. Then at another time period, when the address line changes, data two would be active on the output from the multiplexer into the input of the demultiplexer and out of the, of the multiplexer. So that is the overall operation of a multiplexer, demultiplexer circuit, right? So uh, recapping again, a multiplexer takes several inputs and gives out one output. A demultiplexer takes one input data line, one input line, and outputs several outputs. So in the end, you can faithfully transmit data across a single line, several bits of data across a single line, and separate them out. So for example, if you have a telephone, um, a single pair of telephone wires, you can have hundreds of calls um, on that single pair of wire um, shared in what we call time um, multiplexing.